What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again and I have the honor and privilege to present to you guys and girls today the Daniel Defense H9. Um, what can I say? One of my favorite, you know, gun companies out there is finally in the handgun market. Daniel Defense. Um, some people probably seen it coming. Maybe a lot of y'all like even myself didn't, but we have here today, the Daniel Defense H9. And if you're watching this video right now, more than likely you're watching it on a Monday, right? Um, there, these, da these bad boys are on the range right now at range day over at SHOT Show in Las Vegas. So they're available right now to put your first shots through them on Daniel Defense's range day. And you guys will also possibly see these, you will see these at the booth over at SHOT Show on range day. And to answer the question, the elephant in the room, we're going to get straight into all these questions, right? These are currently being shipped out to dealers right now, from what I'm hearing. Two dealers right now. If you have a local gun store that has a dealership or dealer, you know, license with Daniel Defense, they're more than likely got these already or are going to be getting them in. So you might want to be calling them up. You feel me at the end of the day. And last but not least, Daniel Defense will be having these on their own website within the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, man, I have the honor and privilege to shoot the Daniel Defense H9 for a couple of weeks now. And I got to say it's what you expect it's phenomenal <laughs> it's a phenomenal gun at the end of the day uh, made by a phenomenal company that's been doing their thug thizzle for quite some time and uh they put out a fantastic firearm now i'm gonna be uh transparent as always you know and, and, and speak on the elephant in the room to some people that's been around you know guns for a long time you probably heard of the hudson 9 that had released a couple of years back that company went bankrupt and um was gone and the guns that they made was a Hudson Hudson 9 that looked very similar to what you see here with the Daniel 9 but I want you also to know at the same time that this gun is completely different in its internals from the ground up Daniel Defense went in changed all its internals changed a lot of mechanisms about this gun and created a whole different and better gun with the H9. So this isn't just a Hudson H9 being bought out by Daniel Defense and then made and thrown on, slapped a Daniel H9. No, there's a whole bunch of brand new e internals and even the outternal because the gun itself is different in how it looks. It's slightly similar, but it's different. One is the extremely bulky bottom. If you see older pictures, you can see that there's some significant difference from this gun from that gun. So you're not going and just buying another gun from another company that Daniel Defense just slapped their name on. You're getting a brand new gun. And Daniel Defense, they're claiming that this is two guns. A gun you can leave on your bedside and a gun you can use in competition. A gun that you can carry and a gun you can go take to the target range. This gun fills all the voids that is needed at the end of the day and gives you the cross between a 1911 and a striker fired pistol. As you guys can see, it's striker fired, but you had that 1911 cool crisp trigger that me and so much many other people out there love so yeah man i had some time to shoot this bad boy shot amazing we're gonna be doing some follow-up videos uh, more than likely tomorrow i'm gonna do another video on this showcasing like what comes in the box i want to do like a top-down vi video showing you how it's gonna be presented to you out there so you know how this gun's gonna look out the box as well but i really wanted to give you guys my overview thoughts and review on how this bad boy shot shot phenomenally it is optic cut ready and every box that you buy out there will come with a free optic that you can then send in to uh, Daniel Defense to get your optic played in for free. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little paper here, right? Y'all yeah, don't mind if I read off a little bit of paper so I can make sure I can just tell y'all every single thing. And then we'll talk about this straight up overall, like my thoughts, right? And opinions of everything, which it's always transparent. But um, I just wanna make sure I read everything correctly. The uh, four plates available are the Doctor, RMR, Seymour, and RMSC. Um, I had utilized the RMR, which I was utilizing a Hollow Sun 508, shot great. Um, they do already have 
holster is already ready to go out the box. This is a in the waistband holster with a magazine as well. It's going to ship with one magazine plus two additional and the magazines are 15 round magazines they are metal and they are solid and they claim it to be a, the, the lowest bore axis pistol in its class and a low bore axis as you know is a great way for a gun because it allows you to have a better grip on the gun and manage recoil even more and you can feel it because of how low it is how much you can get how much hand how much meat you can get on the gun at the end of the day to hold on to it and manage that recoil the gun itself is built off of a type 70 75 aluminum grip which is going to give you less weight but more strength has picatinny on the bottom so you can put your accessories on there as well whatever lights you needed as stated optic cut you got steel factory sights also with a dovetail ambidextrous slide release so another plus as well and of course one of the biggest things definitely coming from someone that's in a striker fire having tons of striker fire guns and having a few 1911s is that trigger let's let me get a little closer for you so here you go so this is your safety mechanism right here put that up against there there's there's literally no no mush crisp you get a little bit close release there's a release there you go and i would say honestly my only gripe with the gun there's really no gripe whatsoever is me getting used to this this little mechanism because i'm so used to flat wall but i do appreciate it having the safety mechanism because it doesn't stop me from shooting it doesn't ruin my shooting either it's this uh, safety mechanism kind of similar to how glock has its ver version of a safety on the trigger it's the same type of ordeal but it definitely took me getting used to it at the end of the day it is built off of a cold forge hammer barrel that that barrel is 4.28 inches the overall length is 7.69 inches overall width is 1.2 and that is of course with the slide stop and the slide width is only one inch unloaded is 29.6 ounces you have a fiber optic front sight u-notch on the back you have a trigger safety blade trigger safety plunger and striker block which is all featured in here as the safety devices you may be asking why did daniel defense decide to build a handgun well they've been known as building some of the best if not the best ar-15s out there on the platform and they thought why not go ahead and build one of the best pistols out there on the platform i think that honestly and i commend all the other brands out there salutes because i i love the gun world i love it i definitely think though and y'all let me know i definitely think that day of defense is, is it's gonna shake shot show like i think that they we're gonna see you gonna win it i i'm 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 definitely thinking this right here is gonna throw so many people off when daniel defense comes out with the daniel h9 and with all that being said what's a daniel defense handgun without their lifetime satisfaction guaranteed warranty so you don't have to worry about nothing i'm pretty sure uh you're gonna have a great time just like i did but overall First time shooting something like this, a 1911 cross with a, with a, with a striker fire, shot phenomenally, um, trigger felt amazing, uh, has a nice weight to it overall, something that you could carry, you know, at the end of the, that you could carry at the end of the day, you can carry it, you could also not carry it and keep it on the bedside or target competition. I think that Dane Defense knows what they're doing and they're going to take this gun all the way moving forward. Um, I expect to see maybe some different variations down the pipeline too. This is a very, I would say, compact size, maybe some full size. Don't quote me. They didn't tell me nothing. But I think that Daniel Defense is about to create a whole new category. Well, they already did. They're creating a whole new category and they're putting their name along with it. And anything that they touch, in my opinion, is gold by my, you know, when it comes to Daniel Defense. Um, the grips, I can see them changing out that, customizing that. Down There's just so much that I'm already looking forward to with this gun at the end of the day. And, uh, I can definitely see uh, this being a big item for 2024, maybe some people's favorite gun of 2024. And I'm saying that now, as in when the end of 2024 comes, people will look back and, and speak about this bad boy right here. Stay tuned. We will be doing, as I stated, like an overview of the full package, what comes with it and all that. But um, Daniel Defense shoots amazing. No issues really whatsoever with the gun. Um, I definitely... I uh, did have to break it in a little bit in the very beginning, but there was no issues at all. Just had to put uh, put about, I want to say about three to 400 rounds in it. 
uh, maybe no, about 500 rounds actually in it. And for the most part, everything did extremely well. You're more than likely watching this now on Monday. I will be at SHOT Show for the whole entire week. When I get back, I'm gonna drop through another thousand rounds on this bad boy. So you will be seeing another video on this. You'll probably, like I said, you're gonna get the initial one, which is the day. You'll get another one tomorrow, and I'm gonna come back with a follow-up, even breaking in even more. But this bad boy right here, immaculate. Extreme low bore axis. Shoots very, very flat, very, very well. Great trigger at the end of the day. Nothing that I can really say um, that I had an issue with this gun whatsoever. It looks better than the previous other version out there. It is nothing to do with that version, so don't think that this is the same gun fixed. No, this is a different gun built from the ground up. Some things that people will out there and tell you is that, you know, that Daniel Defense bought some of the patents and all that type of stuff, but a lot of the internals, the shape, and overall even look has been changed and for the most part you know it, it works but just so y'all don't think that i'm just um you know like i said but just to end it off to say i don't think i'm just it's uh the perfect because ain't nothing perfect i get like i said before my only main gripe was the little trigger part just something i'm not used to for this type of trigger and then also this for this particular light i'm not a big fan i mean no nah, it's not bad now i ain't gonna lie at first, I didn't like the X300 on here, but looking at it now, it doesn't look bad. But at the same time, I might just go for like a TR7 or T7A or something like that. But I definitely, I got the I got the, the holster. Like I'm planning on carrying this off, off the back. Like this is my new carry gun for now. Like it is what it is. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. And make sure you hit that follow button and uh, or subscribe button, and I'll see y'all, all right? I'm out.